Welcome back to the channel. We, uh, I have some exciting news, but uh, I'm a little nervous because I'm not sure exactly what's gonna work or not. So today I'm gonna take you through our Starlink installation and we are in the woods. We got some trees blocking. Let's see if it works. Okay, this is what we've got. Starlink comes pretty simple. I did buy the extra pole adapter just in case I need a little extra height off the roof. I'm not gonna set that up today. So this thing comes with, uh, I've already unpacked it a little bit. This is the router and this is the new version it actually has uh ethernet ports built in which i don't think the other versions had because you used to have to buy an ethernet adapter so you literally plug your ethernet cable from your dish in here power cord in here and then if you take this off it actually has the uh, two ethernet ports in there that is handy because i do need those to hook up uh, additional access points in my house the panel is well it's it's a it's a satellite panel that's it it's got a leg on the back i'm just going to put that up on the roof for right now we'll just see how it works we'll test it out let's see how complicated this is step one scan that step two hook this up to that hook the power up and uh this should work <laughs> i think this comes with i want to say it's only a 50 foot maybe 75 foot cable so i'm not sure if this is long enough i might have to get another one of these power adapter the power adapter sends power to the router the router actually sends power out to the dish the dish is powered by the ethernet cable so i'm going to get this all set up outside uh and see if it works so i'll just put the router outside before i start drilling any holes or in the wall or anything like that we'll see how well i can get a signal here i'm thinking somewhere up there I actually have a better south facing. I thought that it was gonna be south facing, but when I ran the scan on my phone, that's actually south. It would do better over those trees. But what I have to deal with is this side of my house, which has a huge oak tree, which I might have to cut down. I might have to cut down some of these trees too. We'll see. All right, let me show you what we got. So here actually I think is, is worse because I've got this tree. This is actually north. I think it needs to be facing uh, up straight flat more. And I've got a lot of trees on the on this side also, on the east side. So actually I think I'm gonna move it. I've got some, uh, some space back here. I think if I put a pole on this chimney and get it up a little higher, it might work pretty good. There's a, there was a little uh, blockage here and a little bit on the sides, but I think it was actually better back here. So I'm gonna try by setting it right on that peak on the back side of this chimney to start, and then we'll, we'll run it there and see what happens. Okay, uh, well, <laughs> it's way better than I thought. With obstructions in a not great spot, I just set it on top of our chimney uh, because it wouldn't sit on top of the peak where I wanted to put it originally because I don't have the right mount yet. Our old stuff was like 20 megabits per second at the best. Uh, now that I know it works, I'm gonna take this equipment, run it down and into the house. Right, right here, I think. I'll take this old cable line out and we'll put our Starlink through. Well, this is a mess. This is how they ran the ethernet screw. Wow. Well, 
Well, I guess for now, there it will sit. <laughs> we'll let it run for a couple days, let it uh, acclimate. We'll figure out uh, how well it works. Well, it's been a few days, actually it's been about a week. Power's out today, so the generator's running, and it's been working great. I've been thinking a lot more about this. I wanted to put it up on a pole. I've been wanting to try to find another place for it, but honestly, I think it might just stay right there. It's been working fine. I don't think that any smoke or, or uh, sparks or anything coming out of these are gonna fall on it. Everything goes up, everything is, is going up from these these two chimneys. I don't want them, I don't like mounting things to the roof. I don't like, uh, I don't, and I've got a ridge vent right there. So I originally I was thinking about putting it right on this ridge, but I've got a ridge vent right there. I don't wanna block that off. I don't wanna crush that down. I don't I like screwing things into the roof. This is just a ceiling right underneath this and a really high point. It's like a, it's like a 20 foot ceiling in there on the inside. I, I don't wanna have to get to that to repair any leaks or anything like that. That'd be a mess. I don't like drilling into this old brick either. I have a feeling this old brick, if I try to put a pole on the side of this somewhere, that might end up cracking that brick off or something. So drill right in here with a hammer drill and you run a couple tap cons right in there. Secure my cable, call it a day. All right, well that's gonna be it. I think we're gonna we're gonna just leave it there. I just have to get an extension ladder, finish my wire up the downspout here. I'll strap it all the way up and around, and it'll just lay on the roof, and then I've got wrapped around the chimney. But it seems to be working okay. So let's check out the obstruction map. It's had about a week to uh, figure itself out, and I have a feeling that some of these trees are gonna be a problem. Let's let's take a look. siliconed up can't really see it not bad well this will be the setup for now I have to get a cover made probably a custom cover I'll, I'll get a blank and then uh, put a rubber grommet in it or something and I did get a wall mount for that it mounts the router and the power pack so I can clean all this up down here mount it all up to the wall real nice well, my first thoughts was Starlink. Uh, I have definitely, I was very nervous about spending all this money, getting everything shipped here. It's more expensive per month and having it not work. When I ran the initial test on this thing, it basically said no service, limited service, uh, constant interruptions. That's what the report it gave me. And so I rolled the dice because some of my neighbors said they had it work well through the trees and, and it works. Uh, I, we've never had in the, in the last week that we've run it, it's been a little over a week actually, we've never had a down day. It's never been out. It's never not worked. It does slow down at different periods of day. I think it connects to different satellites depending on what time of day it is, but it's been perfect. Uh, and so we'll see how the, uh, the, the chimney mount works. I'm not sure about that yet. Uh, hopefully, you know, I'll, I'll just have to keep an eye on it. if there's any damage to the dish or anything like that. I'll have to, I'll have to move it. So I wanted to do this video because I think a lot of people uh, are in the same situation as me. When you're in a rural area, you're in a rural place where you probably don't have good high speed internet, you, there's a good chance you could be in the forest. You could have a house that's in the woods and you could have trees and other obstructions. So this is a clear test that even with some of those obstructions, it still works. Uh, I definitely think it could work better if there weren't obstructions. I think I could probably be over 200 megabits per second all the time, but this is way better than what we had. The internet we had before was 20 megabits per second on a good day and it was constantly out. It was, you know, once a week, it was, I had to reset my, my equipment all the time, reset it on repower cycle, everything because it was constantly dropping, constantly had to reset. This is way, 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 way better. We've had great luck uh, so far. That's my experience with Starlink. I will say if you are considering Starlink, I actually have a link in the description. They have kind of a, 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 a friend to friend program, if you wanna call it, but if you use the link in the description, you actually get your first month free uh, for, for your service. So you can try it out, get your first month for free. You want to pay for service and there is a 30 day guarantee. So you can try it, put it on your roof, see if it works. And if it doesn't, 
then you can send it back. Love to hear from you guys. You guys out there who have Starlink, what are your thoughts? Uh, what's your experience? Uh, share that stuff down below for others to read as well. Thumbs up on today's video. Of course, subscribe if it's your first time here. We'll see you next time.